What is going on YouTube? Greetings from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but that is the Island Princess, the ship I'm gonna be boarding for 33 days today. I'm heading to Halifax, and then we're going to four spots in Iceland, then Cornwall, Scotland, and then a ton of ports in Norway. We're gonna be checking out the Norwegian fjords. Super, super excited about that. Right now I'm in the Embassy Suites Hotel. If you watch my videos in the past, a lot of times I stay in that Hilton over there, uh, right across from the cruise port, and it's like a two minute walk to get to the cruise. This one is almost out of walking range, but I'm gonna try to walk it today. It's about a 30 minute walk, but this hotel is phenomenal. If you're looking for a cruise port hotel that, and you're okay with walking 30 minutes or taking a cab to the ship, but being able to see the ship from your hotel, I think it's a good choice. They have a really cool like atrium area. There's a ton of food there. It's very nature oriented. There's like a waterfall. It's just a cool little area, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna hop on that cruise ship and start a cruise. So let's go ahead towards cruise ship. Okay, so I'm on board the cruise ship now. I actually didn't walk to the cruise ship. It was super hot and humid. I didn't think it was gonna be good to walk 30 minutes in 80 degree weather with 100% humidity. So I decided to take an Uber. It was only five bucks. My first time in a Tesla Uber, which was pretty cool, um, but it was easy peasy from the Embassy Hotel. So highly recommend taking an Uber if you don't feel like walking. Embarkation process was super easy. It always is on Princess. I had to grab my medallion, took about five minutes, and then I just walked on board the ship. Everybody did. Didn't matter what your loyalty status was. So super easy to get on board the ship. Staterooms are already ready. So I'm gonna walk you to my stateroom and show you what my stateroom is like on here. I actually have an ocean view cabin this time. It's obstructed, but you'll get to see what that's like. So let's go check it out. So I've been on old princess ships and new princess ships, and they're pretty consistent. Whether it's old or new, they're the same. They have this great bed, which can be separated in two beds. You'll see here I have an obstructed view. So if you were curious, like what an obstructed view looks like, usually have a life raft in your way, but it brings in light, so that's great. You have your desk, you have the TV over here that you can do all kinds of things, the same stuff you can do on the app if you've ever cruised Princess before. My favorite thing about Princess Cruises are the closets, the walk-in closets, they're great. Most cruise ships don't have enough space for me by myself. Princess has plenty of space for two, three, four people. And then you have the bathroom. A lot of people don't like the shower curtains in Princess Cruises, but they don't bother me. This bathroom was great. Typical cruise ship bathroom. Okay, so we're two days into the cruise, two sea days. Uh, it's been pretty relaxing. We're headed towards Halifax. It's actually getting cool out here. I need to buy some kind of head covering that's a little bit warmer than a baseball cap for sure. But the last few days have been great. Just exploring the ship checking out the live music, checking out the shows, but we're almost to Halifax. So the next part of this video will be me hanging around in Halifax probably. So good morning, good morning. We are here in Halifax, Canada. Actually, we're pulling in right now. It's about 7.30 in the morning. It is brisk out here. So definitely not something I'm used to. I'm gonna have to go in and put on warmer clothes. I'm in flip flops and shorts, but I'll probably put on a little bit warmer clothes to go out. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do in Halifax today. I did not take an excursion, so I'm just going to walk off the ship. I heard you can walk into town and I'm going to explore Halifax. That way there are some wildfires going on. So there are some areas of Halifax that are closed at the moment, which kind of sucks, but I planned on just exploring the downtown area anyway, um, checking out the old city, the pier area, and seeing what kind of trouble I can get into down there. So let's go explore Halifax a little bit. Okay, so we finally got off the ship. Disembarkation was actually really easy. There's no line. It's pretty early in the morning. It's like 9.30 and it's a little bit cold out here. As you can see, <laughs> we're definitely not in the Caribbean any longer. We're at Pier 21 and when you walk off the ship, you just turn right and you can head into town. Uh, before you head into town, there's like a little shopping area on the pier. It's really nice. It's different from anyone in the Caribbean because they're selling mostly sweaters and Canadian hats and hats like this, which I bought one of these because it's not only is it sunny today, and so I need to protect myself from the sun, but it's also cold. And you know, most of your heat, you know, will go out of your head when you're a bald guy like me. So I went ahead and bought one of these. So what do you think? 
it was, I think it's pretty cool. I really like places like this where I can just walk off the ship and head into town and go explore. I've never been to Halifax. So this is my first time here. So it's gonna be really cool. I don't really need an excursion. The adventure and the excursion is just hopping off the ship and walking to, I guess, what would be considered like a port city type of thing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head into town, maybe grab a bite to eat, do a little shopping or window shopping for me and you know, see what, see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, so I just got done walking around Halifax. It's a really cool place. I stopped and did a live stream while I was waiting for all the restaurants to open. And a bunch of you jumped on the live stream that have lived in Canada or were Canadian and said, hey, one thing you have to eat when you're in Halifax is the poutine. I had no idea what poutine was, is, but they said, hey, it's a basically French fries with curds and gravy on them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try the poutine today, see if I like it. It looks like something I would like. Anything with cheese, gravy, and french fries. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh man, I really love the cheese, the curds. Yeah, that's really, really good. Thanks for the recommendation. After finishing up my poutine, I did some more exploring on the pier. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't really take excursions and this is one of those ports where you don't need one. There's plenty to do on the pier. There's lots of great people watching. I'm a former sailor, so I decided to go over and check out the last Corvette, which is a class of ship. Really cool little museum area. You can go on the ship. Just a neat kind of unique thing to do. If you're into relaxing, there's all kinds of chairs on the pier. There's lots of people watching out here too. My favorite pe people watching was sitting here on this do not climb area, watching people climb up this big hump in the middle of the pier. After exploring a little bit of the downtown area, I decided to head back to the ship and get ready for our five days at sea as we head up to Iceland. So we are on day four of five days at sea. What I wanted to show you was right now. Guess what time it is right now here, about probably about 200 miles off the coast of Iceland. Guess what time it is. I'll give you a second to type it down below. All right, it's midnight right now. So it looks like the middle of the day out here. It could be noon as much as it is midnight. It's kind of crazy. So I figured I'd share that with you. Um, we should be in Iceland in two days, and that should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. What is going on, YouTube? Greetings from Reykjavik, Iceland. It's pretty awesome to be here. I've actually been here before. It's a while back. I did all the touristy things last time I was here, the Blue Lagoon, and all that kind of stuff. So I decided this time I'm just going to explore the city of Reykjavik. We pulled into a nice little sleepy type of cruise port area and I googled this morning can you walk from the cruise port area to Reykjavik I found out you could there's this cool little walking path here in front of me it's supposed to be really really scenic but it is pretty long I will warn you it's like a 30 to 40 minute walk or something like that they also have these little scooters that you can get on uh, pretty easily you could get probably be there in like five ten minutes on one of those so there's other ways to do it but I like to walk, I like to get my steps in. So that's what we're gonna do today. While the walk-in is a little bit long, there's all kinds of seating areas as you walk in that have breathtaking views. And there are little informative placards that tell you what's above the water and even what's below the water along your walk. And once you get into the city, it's your typical old world charm type of European city. It's really beautiful. There's lots of things to do there. Lots of shopping, lots of restaurants, lots of museums, lots of really cool scenic type of parks that you would expect in a place like Iceland. There's even a Domino's pizza if you're craving a little bit of American food and culture to go along with the Icelandic food and culture. I really enjoyed my time in Iceland or Reykjavik, Iceland. We're actually going to three more ports in Iceland. So let's hop back on the ship and head to another port in Iceland. Welcome to Isafjorda, Iceland. I probably said that wrong. I'll spell it up here somewhere. 
but it's a new spot in Iceland. It's up in the, I guess, northwest corner of Iceland. It's pretty cold today. Uh, disembarkation from the ship was pretty easy, although we did ferry in. You can pull up to the pier here, but you gotta be a smaller ship. I think you can see a smaller ship here behind me, but our ship could not, even though it's a smaller cruise ship. We had to take ferries in or shuttles in. They actually used lifeboats from Island Princess to shuttle this in, which I thought was kind of cool. I've never seen that before. It's kind of cool to be on one of those lifeboats and see you know, what it'd be like to be on one if something bad happened, what that experience would be like. So I don't know much about this town. All I know is it's cold and wet right now and it's a pretty small town. But we're gonna go ahead into town, Isafordor, and do a little bit of exploring. This is a really cool and colorful, sleepy little fishing village. If you want a little bit more adventure, I'd recommend taking an excursion, but if you just want to get your steps in, enjoy some really good scenery, I highly recommend just walking off the ship like I did, checking out the place, checking out some of the colorful buildings that are around, European type of architecture. It's really a pretty place. If you're craving some exotic food, I even found a Thai restaurant. No matter where I go in the world, for whatever reason, I'm able to find Thai food, and Iceland is no exception. My favorite thing to do here, though, was hang out at the beach. I know it's cold, you're not gonna get in the water, although in a second I'll show you some people that were in the water, but there's these amazing paths that go on for miles along the beachfront. And it's just amazing views. The air is super fresh up here. It's just really cool. I ran into these kids, like I mentioned, and they were jumping in the water. I couldn't really speak the language. They didn't speak English. But from what I could gather, they were actually at on a lunch break. <laughs> so after that, I walked around the town a little bit more. I had this chance encounter with Santa Claus, I think. And, you know, then I jumped on the ferry and I headed back to... Princess, I don't know if I recommend sitting on the outside of the ferry. That's what I did. It was pretty cold sitting on the outside of the ferry, but you know, I figured when in Rome, give it a try. Probably wouldn't do it again, but it was a little bit of an adventure. Hey, today we're in a new Icelandic port, the port of Akureyri. I'm sure I mispronounced that, but you got the ship in the background here. You can walk right off the ship and you are right into a little downtown port area. It's really cool. I'm sure you can see the snow-capped mountains back there. Super excited to explore this city. I didn't take an excursion. Again, I don't plan on taking any excursions this time in Iceland. I just plan on enjoying walking up the ship and exploring. And next time I come here, I'll take some excursions. But that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go explore the little port city of Akureyri. One of the things I've really enjoyed about this transatlantic cruise is that in every port, especially here in Iceland, you can just walk off the ship and there is a beautiful scenic path that takes you into the town. This port was no different. It was just a short walk and we were in the main town area. It's not as populated as Reykjavik, but there's definitely more people. It's more modern, it's more urban but you can still find the colorful, cute little restaurants and shops throughout this city. After exploring the city, hop back on the ship and I would highly recommend when you're leaving this port to go topside because there are some beautiful views like scenic vistas and tons of waterfalls as you leave this spot. All right, let's head to our last port visit in Iceland before heading over to England. So today's port stop is Sevisjordur. <laughs> Hopefully I got that right. I'm sure I butchered it. But it's a small little fishing village nestled amongst all these mountains and hills with an amazing waterfall in the background. Just super picturesque. And just like yesterday, we're going to walk around the town and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So for this town, we had to anchor out and ferry into the pier. This was by far the smallest town we've been to. The population sign said 676. We had 1,800 people on the cruise ship, so we tripled the size of this town by visiting it. This was one of my favorite stops, and the reason was this waterfall. 
So right when you get off the pier, you'll see this beautiful waterfall. And the great thing about it is there's this little trail you can walk to it. It's about a 10 minute walk from the ship, from the pier. And it's not too arduous of a hike, especially to the first waterfall that you run into. It's a little bit arduous to get to the top, but if you're not in great shape, you can hike to this one pretty easily. And you're hiking along this little creek here. It's beautiful. It's an amazing little hike. After that, I headed into the little town. There is a sidewalk that runs right into the town. You don't need to take a taxi or anything like this. You can walk the whole thing. There are beautifully colored buildings everywhere. I told you this town is pretty small. It's only 676 people. You won't see too many people walking around, probably because the cruise ship's there. And we fill the town up, as you can see. I don't think anybody here is local except for the people working in the shops. It's all us, but it's very picturesque. It's a very beautiful little town. If you want more adventure, you can take an excursion. They've got all kinds of hiking excursions, waterfall excursions, things like that here. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ship, jump on board and head over to England. Okay, so Iceland was great. And now we're headed from Iceland to Cornwall, England, and then Southampton, England. So that should be fun. Haven't been to Great Britain in a long time. Really looking forward to that. And then after that, We'll head up to Norway. That'll probably be a separate video though, but I wanted to show you this. So even though it's cold, we're off the coast of Iceland, uh, close to the Arctic Circle, the pool's still open. It's actually heated. Obviously the hot tubs are open, so you can come out here and, you know, get swim some laps. This pool is actually warmer than the solarium pool. I mean, the solarium pool's covered, it's warm in there, so the pool's a little bit colder. So if you want a warmer pool, actually come outside and. Feels pretty nice. Whoo, we are in Southampton. Sorry I didn't show you Cornwall. So when we pulled in around 7 a.m., actually we, we anchored out, we had to take ferries in. It was so foggy that they wouldn't run the ferries. And the fog lasted for like three or four hours. The ferry ride was 45 minutes one way. So an hour and a half round trip and we were leaving around three-ish. So I didn't end up getting off the ship in Cornwall, which really sucks. However, we're going back there a bunch of times, so I'll be able to get you some Cornwall footage. I'm super excited about getting back there and doing some of the tours I wanted to do. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. That happens sometimes on a cruise ship, and it happened on this cruise. Right now, we're in Southampton. You know, all the Brits always tell me the UK is so gloomy, but it's like Southern California here. Look, you got all the boats. I feel like I'm in San Diego. You got all the boats. We got sun. It's a beautiful port city, <laughs> a beautiful day here in England. So I'm super excited to get off the ship and explore. But I think we're gonna end this video here. I'm getting ready to leave on a Norwegian fjords cruise from here. We're gonna board a bunch of people and that should be fun. But we'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching.